I'm Dr. Jerry Jessica at Home One. Okay. Uh, I have a few cases to uh, handle over. Actually, I have two cases. One is a guy with a head injury, another lady uh, awaiting to be given uh, NAC. Okay. All right. So, which one do you want me to uh, uh, handle over first? Uh, can you uh, tell about the head injury patient first? All right. Okay. Right. So, I have this uh, Mr. John. Uh, 70 years old, had a fall yesterday, right. slipped and fell. Okay. Uh, overnight, uh, he, his decision to school, his okay. weather was not stable. So I just observed him overnight. Okay. Uh, right. So far, no CT scan was done. Okay. But then he had a vomiting this morning around 6.30. Okay. Right? Uh, uh, about 4 to 5 episodes. Okay. But currently, right. he's stable now. Mm -hmm. So I plan to discharge him with head injury uh, advice. Okay, all right. All right? Okay, alright. Based on the uh, history that uh, data that you have given, okay, this patient is uh, currently uh, like on the high risk of the patient might have a ICP symptom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so because this patient is also seventy years, okay, and also like the patient is having a four uh, times uh, vomiting. So based on the Canadian CT scan rule, okay, this patient needs a CT scan, okay, before we discharging this patient, okay, all right. So can uh, do you understand what I'm telling? Okay. Okay, so, alright. Uh, I'm just to order about CT print for yes. me. Uh, yeah. uh, if it is normal, can I discharge him? Uh, if it is normal, uh, we can discharge him with the head chart advice. Right? So uh, we have to rule out the bleeding or any other causes first uh, before we discharge him. But uh, I think probably uh, this patient requires a CT scan. Okay. Okay, alright. So is there any other question that you want to ask for this patient? Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Uh, okay. So uh, what is the second case? Okay, this patient is uh, from my knee, okay. 20 years old uh, uh, patient. Uh, came in uh, because of uh, overdose on the paracetamol. Okay. Uh, paracetamol level is about uh, 2 grams. Okay. okay. So I think in you sharing, uh, she just took like 2 hours ago. Okay. So in you share of overdose, I'm just going to give her uh, an AC. So let me recap back. She took a paracetamol uh, overdose two hours ago, and then she came to our uh, ED. So she just came in there. Yeah. So her blood investigations appears to be normal. Uh, still haven't. Still haven't come back yet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what is our plan? Uh, then I'm giving an now. Okay. Alright. Does she have any symptoms currently? Mm -hmm. Is she okay? Oh, she's very bad. Okay. Alright. So usually uh, for a PCM toxicity or PCM poisoning, mm -hmm. uh, if the patient comes within uh, one hour time, okay, we can go for a gastric lavage, okay, and then uh, if, uh, and then that we can observe the patient until uh, four hours, okay, and then we have to take our PCM EDM, uh, right? PCM level for the toxicity. Uh, so if the level of the toxicity is more, uh, I mean, higher, then only we will start our uh, NAC. Okay. All right. Uh, so if like being patient is within four hours time, four hours of time, we just observe for symptoms. Okay, and also like we will uh, wait until the blood results come up. Okay. okay. All right. So All right. so far, do you understand what I'm telling? So at this point of time, so, we don't uh, need to start any C for patient. But if patient got symptoms, do I start immediately? Also? We will still wait for our TDM level. Right. Okay. okay, our TDM level, we will still wait for our TDM level and this patient uh, can can be observed. Okay, okay. alright. So if the patient comes uh, after 8 hours uh, of uh, po poisoning, okay, we straight away can start NAC and also wait for our TDM level. Okay. So if the patient comes within 4 hours of time, you have to wait for our uh, uh, level and then on this side. What if patient comes after 4 hours? After 4 hours? What? Patient symptomatic. Symptomatic after four hours, you can start your any uh, you can start your NAC and then you can wait for the TDM level, right? Okay. Right. Okay. How about patient come after four hours but asymptomatic? After four hours and asymptomatic, uh, you you can wait for TDM result then start NAC. Right. So it is like uh, if the patient is symptomatic, <coughs> patient comes after four hours, you start your NAC. Okay, and then they wait for TDM level. So if the patient comes after eight hours, whether or not patient having symptom, don't have symptom, you just can start the NAC. Okay, and also wait for TDM level. Alright. Alright. So do you understand what I'm telling? So do you have any question? No. Do you have any other passwords? Oh, no. Alright. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, so have a good night shift. Good rest.
All right, thank you so much. Thank you.